one. In this video, I will be showing you my airways management system, which I have built in Python, which I have built using Python. So this is the entire code of that. So this is a very small code of uh, near about 400 to 480 lines, something like that. So first of all, let's run the code, and then afterwards I will show you about my code. Tell you. So this is the GUI of the flight management system. So I've named this as COPS computer operated Python system. So in this is a logo and here is the menu bar which says get the weather reports and it will give you the weather reports from here. So this uh, reports are getting from the, uh, the first of all it had extracted the IP address and through that IP it got the geolocation and from that location it, acts, uh, it, uh, it got the temperature and weather reports through the open weather api and here is the flight booking and payment and here's the about and help options so let's go to one of them so if this book your flight is same as that one so let's check them so let's put the name it's a hobby. There's a phone number and passenger travel details at the end one four adults, number of packages five, total number of passengers are five, and the number of tickets to Saudi Arabia four, China two, Australia four, any random value. This is and these are the refreshments which will be required in flight. Otherwise, you will be hungry. And even salad or being healthy. And let's generate the total. So here is the total generated. And when we click on generate bill, it will give the ticket. And we, we will we can even save our ticket. So our ticket number is 3268. This is the exit button. So we can exit now. So this and down here is the current date and time and in flights I have even put the payment booking so this is the website which is hosted in W3 spaces so here you can pay your flight ticket so now I will be showing you uh, where is the ticket saved so in that folder there is a tickets folder where the ticket is saved so you can see the ticket is saved in a notepad and our total bill is $14,053 that's a big amount actually so, and this is how and in help I have given the contact details and in about there is a our team and cops program so this cops is basically a Ba very basic design of how, how airways management systems can be created using python language so this was it and let's see the power options exit it will directly exit the program so this was the how this program works let's look at the code first so this is just comments here written and here i imported some modules like os random and uh, printed some initiating system and this is the pill pillow image which is used for uh, putting the background of our kinder window and res even resizing it and if it if it is not installed in your computer it will first of all print the statement and then install it from using the system os os dot system and it will type there pip install pillow and then directly it will install and then import so this is how i imported the other modules like kinder uh, Win32 GUI play sound module and Win32 API PyTTSX3 for speech and Win32 open for uh, speech and Win sound modules web browser to opening the websites. So this is how we are getting user information through IP address. So this is the IP add variable where through requests it will get this is the website through which you can get your IP. So 
this is where the IP is extracted it will print the IP address and it will print the accessing geodata and this is another website through which you can get the uh, your geodata and you can just put the this link and then after that add your IP and the dot JSON this is the and it will get the URL of your geodata and then through that it will get another variable geo request in which requests module will get your geo data as a JSON and it will convert into JSON to normal lists and through that list we want speci uh, specific city so we will get a city which is equal to geo data city and similarly for the country and current location would be city comma country and if it is not able to get that it will directly give countries error cities error and the location is definitely error and now come to speak function uh, in speak function I have uh, created uh, two types for speech like for first of all use the PyTTS 3 module uh, which is basically I have done in my covered in my previous videos so it will a variable in engine where PyTTS 3 module is initiated and then it will uh, voices named variable which will get the uh, property of voices from the engine mode uh, engine variable of PyTTS X3 initiated when initiated and then engine will set the property voices uh, these are the default uh, voices uh, by default your computer will have two voices uh, one would be um, David and another would be zero by additional voices you can add and this is the rate and it will print ops and then it will do the audio is just an input which, which you're taking the def function and it will say and run and wait for that if this function fails in case then it will come to this thing this is a second method of uh, speaking so it win32 dot through win32 dot com dot client so it will um, take this as a client and calling dispatch of module function and then it is as a variable in speaker through which it will use a sappy sp voice which is a microsoft as a speaking voice and it will speak the audio directly and even if this not works it will print this on the terminal right could not speak tried my best like something like that statement and here there will be some beeps would be there and there will be a serious code error then and is, this is not going to happen because the speak function will definitely work if PyTTS X3 module is installed in your computer and this is a startup system so it when, when started it will check if there is internet connection there or not in your computer if it is not it will directly uh, exit the program so how it is it checking is it there is a uh, any URL you can give it here like I have given for my YouTube channel you see here here and this is a timer set to for five and here we are using try and accept statements so here there is a request named variable which will get the URL and after timeout and it will print connected to internet if it is not connected it will go to uh, accept that request connection error if there is connection error it will when it will happen when you are not connected to internet so it will directly print no internet connection detected and shutting the program and the message box will be displayed you are not connected to internet please make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi or internet to start the program and then it will exit so this was startup system uh, function and in booking flight I have uh, there's uh, another file uh, of this booking system so which is there which is of another 500 lines of code which were explained in some in other videos so it will uh, display a message that your current location is accessed through your IP address and it, it will be set as a booking from there and it will speak the loading interface of booking system and then it will start this uh, booking system file and then it will just say that you have to pay your ticket to confirm and this is the payment and it will say that your payment gateway of flight ticket to confirm and it will open the browser with this website and then out this so next uh, next function comes the weather reports uh, so it will try to play this sound as you have heard I think so and uh, this is a try function and this is the API key which I have used using open weather uh, open weather map uh, this is a basically a open weather map is a website which uh, provides 
weather details for every unique API key if you are registered to that. So I've registered, I've got my API key and how this is how I'm getting my weather details. So this is the city name which I've, city is the variable which I've used here in getting user information which I've explained earlier. And through that, uh, it will add the API add which is equal to API key and this is the string and city name. And responses, it will get the complete code and then it uh, will function like that. And x dot responses it will take as a json file x dot coordinate 404 then it will get y main character current temperature and pressure and it will be taking as a in kelvin so i have to convert that into degree celsius so that's the basic conversions here and similarly for pressure it will be getting in hpa so i have to convert that to atm so directly multiply it with 0 0.00987 and make sure you use it round from round with that because it's going to give you a big decimal numbers so round function is a must there so there it will print this temperature in kelvin unit is this 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 and all that and if there is not no internet connection detected directly shut down the program but in case you're connected to the internet while running the program but in between your net connection is disconnected then it will give you this type of errors so this was how this weather report works and the next function was system restart so it will play this sound function play system effect and then win32 api message program will automatically restart please do not use mouse or keyboard until the program starts this was the basic info and then it will be restarting the program and this is the power up and it will sleep function for welcome and this is the from the here the coding for GUI starts so this is the main screen which I have set using the TK from Kinto so and configured the background as black and set the title as corpse and logo as a logo uh, the logo image or anything you put as logo should be an ICO format so that's what here it is and geometry as 1790 any uh, as I put for that but first uh, I thought before I thought I was like putting in full screen but it should be better in this format so I to check the other the formats so it worked best for this value that's why I've used that and here is the when you run this code <coughs> so when I run this program you can see that the welcome to cops this title the color is changing after every one second so this is because of this program here so I made a cops like a function where colors are stored in a list silver gold green cyan and magenta and using the random module I have put that in a variable and configured that foreground, foreground color would be actual color which, we, which is a random choices of this list and label to after every one second this is thousand nanoseconds it will restart this and here are the label label which is set as main screen text as welcome to cops and font as future of bold and background as black and foreground as foreground as sign so and here this is ends this and now the next frame would be uh, I have made a class where the resizing would help suppose for example if I smaller this a bit and you can see that the image is resizing automatically you can see the image is resizing automatically background image of the airplane this is because of this class function so this class function what it basically does is it resizes the image of the background and packs to fill both and expands it in both x and y direct, x and y coordinates and this is a time function here which will get the current uh, current date month time hour minutes and seconds and which will be printing after every one second updating after once every one second and you have created the button of your book your flight and given the command as booking flight which I've displayed uh, which I told you earlier and this is this this uh, code is for the I will show you that the menu bar which is displayed on the top Like this uh, 
the menu bar which is coming on the upper side this is the code for that here welcome cops this is the red and power options this option is here and flights and this is the functions for that and uh, here the system information like system name cops system code and the owner of the program is Adnan and here the main uh, this is the main thing here if, the, if you don't if you don't put this the, your GUI will not work at all so this is the main loop is very much important so this is the how uh, the code all of the code works thank you for watching yeah,